Can you imagine having carpet, which is DIY friendly, installed in your house without a nail strip and without laying a pad down? That's what we're gonna to discuss today. Let's get started. Plus, this particular carpet right here is also hyperallergenic and it's from a trusted company, Mohawk. Right here, I'm holding a small sample and I'll come in a little closer so you can see why don't you need a pad. It has the carpet on the top and the pad is built in. So this is what you use. You just take this, sit it on your subfloor and put tape and then you're done. Now, I did mention it's hyperallergenic and that's very important to me because I have asthma and anything I'm allergic to, I get an asthma attack and it turns into pneumonia. So this was ideal. We chose carpet for all the benefits. It's soft. Uh, to me, it looks good. It's uniform. I really like how it feels, but I couldn't deal with the smell. So I went with this carpet from Mohawk. It's Arrow, A-I-R dot O. And again, hyperallergenic. I keep saying that because that was what was important to me. I do have it outside so I could let it air out even more. The company that I'm working with, they were nice enough to deliver it multiple days in advance so I could let it air out, which I have been doing that. So, enough talking. Let me show you just how easy it is to install this stuff. Once you lay the carpet on the subfloor, you're going to need to cut a very straight line. As you see, the installer is using a flat ruler with a very sharp blade to cut a straight line so it will line up with the new piece and then you'll just tape them in the middle and then continue to the edge and then tape the edges. So he cut the straight edge and then he's going to butt up the new piece right here he's gonna lay tape next he measured the void went outside and cut a new piece of carpet with again another straight edge then he's using his kicker to just put the carpet in position to be perfectly straight and then he's using his fingers to align it up just for those extra fine detailed touches this is where you want to spend the majority of your time working. Make sure you get the pieces as close to each other so when you lay the tape all you have to do is just press it down. If you get this right your carpet will look like it's in one big piece. That's to be perfect. Yeah. Right here by the edges to see like a one piece you know. Everything. Yeah. And, and I don't I don't smell it. This tape is about three, four inches wide. A lot of tape. As you've guessed and seen, the tape is one of the most important aspects about putting this new carpet down. It acts as the nail strip and also the seam, the seam tape. Even though a traditional carpet uses seam tape, with this, all you do is stick it down to the subfloor and since it's double sided, it sticks to the pad and no ironing. Now it's the moment of truth. Once you peel back the protective layer, layer of the tape, there's no going back. You make sure when you put the carpet down that you have enough to go up the wall so you can just cut it off later and then you're going to take a lot of force and jam it into the corner and then later on you'll see him using a hatchet to really get it into the corner. Then 
he hasn't taped the seam yet and he's just lining it up so he can really get it lined up and then he's going to like I say he's pressing down into the corners and he'll come back with a hatchet then he's about to use his seam roller to make sure that the carpet is ready to be stuck on the tape the tape that's under the seam he's only pulled back about a half a foot and then he lines it up he rolls it and then he pulls the tape as he's going because you just don't want to pull the tape all out at once Now he's using the hatchet like I was talking about earlier to really push it into the corner of the wall. Then he comes back with his straight edge and he cuts the excess carpet that went up the wall. You wouldn't tell that this was not held down without a nail strip. That carpet is, I'm sorry, that tape is extremely strong and the carpet isn't going anywhere. Plus, since the carpet is attached to the pad the pad and the carpet are one the carpet is not gonna move I was a little concerned about that about it bunching up but that's not the case it's actually hard to just move the carpet on the subfloor without the tape as you see now he is finishing up the seam like I said you only pull the tape when you're in that section and you just make sure that the tape covers both sides of the carpet so the seam is flawless he just pulls it up pushes it down a little bit he uses seam roller and the, it's a little methodical but pretty sure that uh, anybody that's ever laid carpet this is just something that they're used to When do you take a break? <laughs> we never take a break. Oh, you've been working since you got here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that looks nice. Oh, it looks very nice. Yeah. Yeah. You have to take the time because the tape uh -huh. is like the tax tree. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Think, yeah. Gotcha. I have a videographer, photographer. Oh, really? <laughs> That's why I do so much. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I record for the church and oh. then um, weddings. Using this product calls for a very clean, if not spotless, subfloor. And that's why they were working so hard to make sure to not only get up the nail strip and all the nails, but all the dust as well. So if you're going to do this, make sure you vacuum every aspect of the corners, especially because you are using tape and tape doesn't stick that well to dust.
This is where this product shines. When you're putting it next to an existing floor, like a bathroom, you never have to worry about stepping on a nail again. He's using his kicker right now to butt it up against our bathroom tile, and then he's going to use his hatchet to really get it down in those corners. You'll never ever step on a nail again. That's where this shines. Then, just for added security, he's nail gunning it down. Yes, this is just perfect along the wall. This, this is where the seam was, and you can't see it at all. Oh, this was fast. This took about hour. It's been about a week since we had the carpet installed and I really like it. I know I kept saying that this stuff was hyperallergenic because that was important to me, which it was. And even if I didn't air it out, it still is probably good for the average person. For me, I did need to air it. Even though you couldn't smell anything, I could feel it. And if you have allergies, you know what I mean. But excluding that, the carpet itself is just great. It's soft even though you don't need a pad because it has a built-in pad. I can't tell the difference. I really like the color. I like the color choices. I like how warm it is. I like how comfortable it is. I really like it. I only showed you one bedroom because you didn't want to see all the rest. I'll make a separate video for that. But as far as how you install it, it almost makes it seem like you could do it yourself. Not saying that you can, but it has that feel. You just measure it, put it to the corners, lay the tape down, press it down, and cut it. Man, this stuff is, this is a great product. So with that being said, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. I'll be sure to get back at you guys. You guys have a good one. Appreciate your time.